This is video three of a three-part series on serialization. And basically this part is about deserializing a file. Serializing a file is converting an object in memory to bits and writing it out to a disk file. And as you might expect, deserializing a file is reading those bits back in from a disk file and putting them back into the memory structure. So I'm not going to go over everything I went over in the first two parts. That's 165 and 166. This should be 167. So just go back and watch those videos to understand how the rest of this form works. And we'll just look at the deserialize from file code. And basically this is identical to the serialize code it uh, creates a file stream. In this case we use file mode open rather than file mode create because we want to open it for reading rather than overwrite any file that's there. And we create a binary formatter the same way. And the only difference is the method we call is b.deserialize rather than b.serialize and we just specify the file stream and then we have to have a cast that says the type of the uh, data we're reading in so it knows what format to read it into and then of course we need the memory object we read it into which is the student record we've been working with in all three uh, videos and then we close the file stream and I just call the uh, button click for display student data in order to display it in the multi-line uh, text box. So in effect we're clicking the button with the code here. And then I get the number of student records from the student record count to fill in that text box. Convert it to string of course before you put it in the text box. So if we uh, compile and run this code say put in uh, one Travis McGee one slash one slash 48 is the date of birth and 11 is the average mark and I save that and the record increments and then if we show display student info this gets displayed in the multi-line text box. And if we serialize this to the file, it tells us the data has been serialized. And then if we deserialize it, it reads it back in and in effect pushes this button in order to display that record. So we can continue going now and say to Harry Bosch Two slash two slash forty eight twenty two and save that info and then serialize that to the file and both records should be out there now. And then if we uh, deserialize it, both records get read back in and so on. So in effect, we just have a permanent record of what we've been doing. We don't have to redo everything over again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.